Hello and welcome to this, the first Let's Play on my channel. Obviously I have other games that I play, but this is really the, my first attempt at a sort of linear game where I play from the start to the finish. And this is Cargo, A Quest for Gravity. It is a game made by Ice Pick Lodge. They are a Russian developer. The game is in English, fortunately. There is an English localization. And they are responsible for the Pathologic, which was a very strange sort of RPG, and the Void, which is a, a very abstract game, dealt with a lot of imagery and surrealism. And, and this game is continuing in their trend of uh, producing quiet, bizarre, and interesting games and you know let's just get in and see what it's like so already you can see the art style is quite striking it's very colorful lots of strange jarring things There's some dancing midgets. Go down. We're going to miss our landing. Slack the stay away. Drop anchor. Heave ho. Descend, you fool. Lower. Go lower, I say. I can't go any lower. I need more weight. We have more weight than anybody. Get us down, or I'll take the cockpit myself. I'd like to see you. This time we hit the jackpot, an offer like this comes once in a lifetime. We put all our savings into this trip, and it was worth it. Those explosions look a little close, and yes, they have indeed hit our airship. And so yeah, here is some backstory here. Basically, we have no gravity left on Earth. This is Earth. And yes, everything is floating around. And we have crashed, even under the small amount of gravity that there is left. We have crashed to the surface. So you can press the left mouse button to pick an item up. and press it again to throw it and that may be important later on so you can see that we have these little uh, musical notes we can collect those those are also important here's a little song Okay, so we've learned a couple of things there, that our crash was not an accident, and um, we were indeed caused to crash by persons unknown, and also that there are supposedly no humans left, and that these creatures here, which are called buddies, were surprised that there were any humans, or at least the people who directed them did not know there were any humans left. And yes, we uh, told there that you can kick them around and they basically explode 
due to the excitement of being kicked around, they they like fun. And that is the currency of this game, it is fun. <laughs> Which is what we're collecting now by kicking these buddies. We're basically producing fuel and currency by collecting the fun. That one just called me your highness. Not quite sure why. I suppose amongst these creatures, I am uh, I am their queen. So yes, I am collecting a thousand drops of fun here. My current mission is at the bottom of the screen. So we enjoy the rather discordant and strange music. We get a good look at this world and it's bizarre trees and, and some kind of volcano over there. <laughs> and yeah, it's hard not to have a little giggle about these buddies. Kaboom! And it's it's almost just very strange that I should I be... Oh, let this guy speak. And your we cannot accept the Cargo is only technically here. Look, but it's thinking it's on fire. That's not what the contract guarantees. I am Manipo II, Deus Ex Machina. I assert the engineer is lousy. She doesn't build or fix a thing. Just kicks ass and chews gum. Come to think of it, we didn't need an engineer. We needed a plumber. A flood was on the agenda. And I am Manny Poo, Deus Ex Machina, three in one. And I agree to, to, to compromise, for I am so full of mercy. So be it. We, the demiurges of Earth, are ready to hire this engineer girl. What a surprise! They don't have any other candidates. Even if she only builds a toaster, it better not be a half-assed job. As a god, I could trust your word, but as a machine, I can't defy my program. Her first task would be to retrieve our sinking parts from the water. We will provide her with equipment, a raft, a sail. A mass, the wind, at a discount price. And so what we've seen there is um, a mortal. <laughs> just let him speak. Sell. You have to pay for the sale with fun. The gods won't give you anything for free, even if it hurts them in the long run. So yeah, what we've seen there is three grotesque faces that travel around on this sort of roller coaster rail. And a third one, or a fourth one, in a fiery place unknown, which, uh, well, it looks like hell. And that one obviously represents the devil. These ones seem to represent gods of some kind. It's uh, unclear what gods they represent yet, or whether there's some form of new deity in this strange world. But yes, yeah, so what they want me to do is take this little uh, raft over here and go and get the cargo that I was supposed to deliver to them. Which is floating over there in the fiery wreckage. And they will also sell me parts using the fun that I've been collecting so that I can build other vessels. And that's an integral part of this game. So now I have one of these uh, music notes, I can actually use that to get the buddies together to have a little dance and have lots more fun. So... Alright, so at the bottom it tells you the mission currently as well. As you can see, swimming takes a long time, so... I need a sale, we go in the shop, and we don't have enough fun yet, so we'll exit, 
and go kick some more buddies up the arse. Whee! So yes, this is what is left of planet Earth. A bunch of little islands that are just about kept down by something heavy on them, usually a house or perhaps some strange building like that windmill over there or you know, a volcano even. And these buddies, and we'll learn more about them in the future. And these guys here want to sing me a song if I move close enough to them. Come closer, blocks. Behold, please stop. For here we have exhibit A, the sinkhole, the scientific marvel of our day. An impressive landmark, wouldn't you say? The great makeover progresses at speed. The Debbie urges are enthusiastic indeed. But when blowing the earth apart, they neglected an important part. The difficulty of putting the pieces back. They had the best intentions, but I'm afraid there's nothing to salvage now but dead weight. Any junk full of kilograms holds more value than pearls in monstrous clam. Whoever still has weight, just throw it in the sinkhole and leave it to its fate. In return, you'll receive a generous reward, much better than the junk thrown overboard. The sinkhole sends stuff down to Earth's floor. That's hot. It cooks it for a bit, adding spices and more. And then, just like a loaded gun, it erupts with buddies full of fun. All right, so we learn a little bit more of what's going on here. There's the sinkhole that they were singing about. Now basically, they were telling me that these demiurges, the gods of what's left of this world, are the architects of its destruction. And yet they did not have a plan to put it back together. And so I'm just going to pick up this burning wreckage, which is fine. I'm not going to burn my hands. And the weight of this stuff is apparently going to get sucked down to the core by the sinkhole, and thus giving the Earth, or what's left of it, more gravity. And it will also cause this volcano to spew out some buddies, which I can uh, get fun from. And so this is the primary way of getting buddies, for a while at least. And there's another piece of burning wreckage here, which again doesn't hurt me to pick it up. And there we go, there's a little cutscene telling me that a buddy has been ejected from a volcano. And you can see at least a couple of them there. So, let's go give them a kick up the arse. We should get another little cutscene now, maybe. Yeah, they seem uh, very malproportioned, the buddies. They're not entirely able to uh, stand if they fall over. So there we go, we nearly have enough for the sale. Uh, there's another one over there. Yeah, this game does involve a lot of running around looking for these guys. And sometimes they can be quite hard to see. The rendering distance is quite good. But um, sometimes it's just hard to see them against the terrain, because they are quite small. So I do have enough to buy the sail now. So I can press tab to enter the shop, purchase the sail. You have to be careful that you're buying the right thing when you're in the shop, because it won't, it won't let you just sort of get that money back. keep collecting these musical notes. They are, it hasn't uh, told me yet how to use them. I do know how to use them, but... So, press B to enter build mode. And here we are. This is the building menu. It's telling me how to use it. I already know. So... We can press delete to delete a part. And now select the good sale and just click on the attachment point. 
And now we have fixed this raft and it's ready to drive. And it's incredibly slow because it only has a sail. But yeah, we do have to hurry over there because the containers are sinking and this game will not wait around for you. There are instances where you will just paint yourself into a corner and that is pretty typical of a game made by Icepick Lodge actually. Yeah, if you ever played The Void you will know that you can actually just fail extremely early on and just be unable to complete the game unless you just start again or go back to a save from a long time ago. So here's some parts here. I'm trying to turn around to get that but <laughs> this is a it's a sail raft. It's not exactly the most nippy of vehicles. So yes, I've collected one and that was a a wheel it said at the bottom, it's one of those paddle wheels. Yeah, we just have to smash into them to collect them. So that was an engine of some description. If I can turn around, I'll be able to get the others. So yeah, it's not entirely necessary to collect these, I don't think. But it does give you some parts that you can use. So there's some structural panels. That's a huge lag spike. Not sure what that's about. Hopefully that stops in a second. <laughs> okay. That is quite unbearable. I'm going to have to sort that out. Come back in a second. Okay, that's better. Alright. Let's get back to collecting these. These float quite nicely on the surface, despite the fact that they are... It's what another song. So that was just a, a little introduction to the possibilities of the building menu, basically. So now I'm being blown over here, nice and quickly. I think that's fairly deliberate, because it wants me to see this vehicle over here with the buddies all over it. They're having a little party. I don't know where they got this from. I certainly didn't Let build it. Cruiser's almost ready, as splendid as can be. We'll give our lives away out there for all the rights and wrongs. We'll scream and yell quite madly. Voices raised in frantic song. Let the wind blow raw with fury. Let the wheel guide our way. If you have two bits of rain left, sacrifice yourself today. If you are a hearty hero and a hero in your heart, follow us through stormy weather. It's always more fun to die together. And so we see the buddies here are attracted to this jet engine, which was part of our cargo ship. And they are killing themselves on it, because it's fun. They, you can see they exploded in the Just flowers and stuff. This, my colleague. We have further proof of our success. The new inhabitants of Earth are curious and they're learning. They're cunning and inventive. But we neglected some small details. Along with selflessness, it looks like these missing qualities lead to sui genoa, sui genosa. But that's, as usual, the human's fault. They dropped their turbine on the aisle. And that's why our guests must forget about the cargo and put all their effort into saving the remaining bodies. Before the eggplant, our incubator broke down. 
We were only able to produce 200 samples. And so, yeah, we see there the... You'd better disassemble your raft, sell the spare parts, and buy some screw propellers and motors instead. The heirs of Earth are so eager to turn themselves into mincemeat, you won't get there in time if you use a sail. You'll miss all... And so, yeah, sorry to cut that guy off, but we saw there that the guy... The demigods there are responsible for the buddies that not only did they destroy the world uh, without a plan to rebuild it, they also removed humans from the world by destroying it and replaced them with the buddies. They are their creation, which is presumably why they call themselves gods, because what is the prerequisite quality of a god? It is creation. And here in the build menu, I just picked up a, a blueprint just before I came in. Don't know if you saw that. And yeah, these blueprints allow you to click on an entire craft and build it in here. It tells me what I need to build it. And I need the sort of the deck there, which is all one piece. It has this kind of chimney and the control wheel on it and a couple of propellers and I can actually click and buy and buy those parts needed for the blueprint and then it will just build it but I don't actually have enough fun for that and I don't have enough time to collect the fun so what we can do is what do we have there perpetuum mobile So yes, I don't, because I was slow in collecting that cargo, I don't have a lot of parts. I don't have a lot of fun. And this is what I'm talking about when I say the game allows you to kind of paint yourself into a corner. Because if I had hung around and collected more fun before I was tasked with collecting that cargo, which I could have done, I could have just kept chucking debris into that sinkhole and kicking more buddies around for quite some time then I would have had more parts here because I would be able to purchase these see this is um, I think this would be powered by one of these things which are basically motors or uh, yeah they're basically motors you can attach wheels to them and you could probably attach one of these but um, Yeah, I don't. Let's try attaching. So yeah, it's not. It's the. It's a little bit confusing. So yeah, these things you can the floats and you can sort of click and drag that if you have more parts. But um, part has connections. Okay. So. I guess we can dismantle the vessel. Let's close that. Choose the base. That is the only base I have. So well. I can't attach this to anywhere on here. I pretty well. much have the most useless parts that I could possibly have. And I'm well. just going to have to rely on sail power. Because there is nothing else. So yeah, you can just drag them along like that to make them longer. And there we go. And yeah, that's all I have at the moment. And of course, this wind is still blowing. So I basically have to run. <laughs> There's no way of getting across there with this wind blowing. And yeah, you can see the buddies are gradually throwing themselves into that turbine. And they will continue to do so. One at a time. They're not all going to die in the next 10 seconds. So I'm just running over here because it is faster than swimming. But 
Yeah, see that uh, ticker, uh, ticking time bomb timer there was for these guys to actually set off. So I do still have a bit of time to get there. I don't even really need a vehicle. It would be nice, but we can swim. I remember the first time that I played this, I actually did swim across here as well. If it wasn't for this wind, it would be a lot quicker. <laughs> but, uh, needs be. And so, yeah, as I was saying, I think, before, when I was so rudely interrupted... Look at your successes <laughs> without shedding tears. If it were up to me, the sooner their torment was over, the better. But don't forget, they're the only known source of fun. So yeah, there is an implication there by the devil figure that humans are incapable of fun, and that only the buddies, their replacements, are capable of producing fun in any kind of a large quantity. Which I think really says something when it's a part of a video game that was designed by and for humans, that they consider humans to be incapable of fun. <laughs> and so yeah, we can see that we're only arriving slightly after the bodies. We can see a blueprint up ahead there as well. Make sure to grab that. So we have to collect the items on this island, and that will allow us to build a craft which should entice the buddies away from the turbine. So that blueprint was for a motorboat with a life preserver, which the buddies love to grab hold of. And they can chain themselves along it. So i got some structural things there. So yes, this is telling us about the stratosphere. As gravity is so low, we have lots of things flying in the atmosphere. So this is telling us that something's entered. And I press T soon, too soon, I can't get rid of that, so there we go. So yeah, these things cost fun to bring down. Fun is somehow equated with gravity, I guess at this point, and what we have here are houses that have one buddy in there, and basically that raises our maximum buddy capacity by one. And there's a plus 30 buddies one, which is definitely worth bringing down. Again, we don't really have a lot of fun at the moment. So before these guys all die by throwing themselves into that turbine, I have to run around and collect these parts. Is this a part over here? Yes it is. And it's not very useful. So, if we get by the water, we can probably build something. Let's try blueprint. Build this. What do we need? We need one of those. Costs 14,000 fun. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. So you can hear the protagonist there displaying the human inability to have fun. I'm not sure that I can edit this vehicle. No, I can't. So that's the buddy's vehicle. I can't steal that. So there's a full music thing. Clef. So yeah, we can press enter to set one of these up. And we can see if that will entice them away from the... turbine for a little while. And it has for these two here. And uh, yep, there's another one coming over. And they will generate fun the entire time that they are dancing. And that is a lot more stable. It's um, 
It's a steady source of fun, rather than kicking them up the arse for one big burst of fun that kills them. And you can see that they love it. And so yeah, I've managed to save them there, more or less. And there's a piano that's come down because of the vibrations from the dancing. And we can throw the piano. Of course gravity is not that high, so I can pick things like a piano up and chuck it around. And that debris can actually be used to be thrown into the volcano for, or to the sinkhole, sorry, to gain more buddies. So yeah, this should give us enough fun to build a vehicle, I think. If I keep using it, because I do have two more of these, so I'll just put another one here. I'll watch them dance again. Have a little dance myself. And so yeah, this is the Earth now, and this is what has replaced the human race. It is a group of small, naked hedonists who live for fun and die for fun. That is the only thing that they care about in their life. They will gladly die so long as they die having fun. Whether that involves being kicked up the arse until they explode with fun. Or whether they throw themselves into a turbine and get obliterated into tiny colourful pieces. It doesn't matter to them. They just enjoy having fun. Is that one still going? Yes it is. Uh, as you can see I have nearly 20,000 fun. So I think I'll get down by the water here. And let's try this blueprint for the boat with the life preserver. And we'll buy the base for it. And there we go. And now <laughs> I'll have to get off there and push it into the water. That's fine. And yep, you can see that the music has stopped and now they are latching onto this life preserver in a in a chain. They'll follow me while they uh, while I'm on it. Even if the limit has been reached, there's only four able to be attached to it at any one time. And they will exp Right, yeah, that's just telling me that I can uncapsize my vehicle with space. That's nice. That's, uh, that's a little way of addressing the sort of physics problems inherent in a video game. So it basically just resets the vertical position of the vehicle. And again, you can see that they are exploding as a result of having too much fun with this thing. But that's fine, because, you know, they die happy. And so yeah, now I have enticed them away from the turbine, and indeed killed them with my intensely fun vehicle. I can go up there, and last time I played this there was a blueprint up there, so that was one reason to go up there. It might not be there this time though. There is a small element of randomness to it. Yeah, we do have a musical glyph and a part, which is some flotation devices. So it's well worth exploring these islands. We do get some random stuff happening. And yeah, so far I have just use blueprints with the vehicle creation, but it is completely sandboxy. You can create uh, some pretty radical designs. We get some flying vehicles later on. So be careful not to run into the uh, turbine myself. I don't think I can. So yeah, I think that's a good place as any to call an end to this first part. So I think I have to go over to the other island now. 
So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in part two.